you ever looked through a magnifying glass or even looked at your reflection in a spoon? That if you move the magnifying glass or the spoon, then the image will flip. Why is that? It's the same lens. How can we get an inverted image when we're so close, but then an upright image when we're a different distance away? Well, it's all to do with how far away the object is from the lens. So if you haven't seen my first lens video, then go have a look at that. Otherwise, you're not going to know what I'm doing. So what I've drawn here are dotted lines just to represent a convex lens. Hopefully you remember from my previous video that concave lenses make a virtual image. But did you know that it's also possible for a convex lens to make a virtual image? Let's draw an arrow. That's going to be my object. So I'm trying to project an image of my arrow through this lens. Notice where I've put it. Here we have the principal focus, but we can also put where the principal focus is the other side as well. And then we're going to put two lots of the focal length. This is the focal length. This is the focal length. This is double the focal length. So where is the light from the tip of this arrow going to end up? As per usual, we draw one ray of light going from the tip parallel in to the lens. What do we know about light rays that go parallel into a lens that is parallel to the principal axis? We know that they go through the principal focus like that. And then as per usual, we also draw one that goes straight through the middle of the lens as well. We could draw any number of rays, but these are the two that we draw and we want to see where they meet. Now bear in mind that I'm not doing this super accurately. So you're going to have to take my diagrams with a little pinch of salt, but this is where the rays meet right here. And that's obviously where our image is going to be formed. It's going to be upside down. So what we can say is that if U, that's the object distance, is equal to two lots of the focal length, we can say that the image is inverted. First of all, we can see that, but it's also real because it can be projected. In other words, if I put a screen there, we will see an image because the light rays are focusing at that point. But also it's the same size as the object. What about if I put my object though more than two lots of the focal length away? Let's draw my rays again. As per usual, parallel in through the principal focus. And then straight through the center of the lens. So this is where my image is going to end up this time. What can we see? Well, it's fairly similar, isn't it? It's inverted. It's real again, but look at this. My image is going to be smaller. So we say it's diminished. That's the opposite to being magnified. But what about if U sits between F and 2F? Again, it's similar, isn't it? But what can we see our images like? Well, it's actually bigger than the object now. Once again, it's inverted. It's real because it can be projected. I can put a screen there and quite happily see the image that is formed, but it is magnified. But this is where things get a little bit tricky. What if our object actually sits on the principal focus point? Let's draw our rays. That gets in parallel and through the focus point. But what is going to happen with this ray here? Oh dear, it doesn't look like our rays are going to meet. And that makes sense, doesn't it? Because if we're at the focal point there, and if this ray goes in and goes through the focal point, then this one has to be going the same direction coming out of the lens. If these light rays are never going to converge, never meet, then theoretically, where would we have to put the screen in order for this image to be projected? Well, it would have to be at infinity. Of course, we can never actually get to infinity. So this is just one of those situations where we have to say, well, that would be the case. In reality, though, this cannot be projected. So this is the tipping point as it were. This is where everything starts to change. So let's go a little bit closer again then. Oh dear, we seem to have a bit of a problem because even though we're using a convex lens, these light rays that are going through it are never going to meet. So that means that it cannot be projected. We can't put a screen even infinitely far away and hope that we get an image formed. So that means that we have to have a virtual image by definition. Now, this is where people get a little bit confused. 
Even though you can't have a screen, you can put your eye here and see an image. The lens in your eye can still take those two rays and make them converge and meet on your retina, so you can see an image. If we just have a screen, we can't project it, but we can still see an image. But where is this image seemingly going to be formed? Well, it has to be where the two light rays meet. So what we do is extrapolate our two lines back, and we see that they meet at this point here. Theoretically, this is where the image is seemingly going to be formed. That's our virtual image. To us looking here, it looks like the object isn't here, but it's over here and really big. So what we say is that it's magnified, but also it's the same way up, it's upright. So an easy way of remembering what's going on here is if the light rays converge on the same side as where the object was, then it has to be a virtual image and it can't be projected. But you can still see this virtual image if you have a lens making these two light rays converge. And so we see this phantom image as it were. So that's why if you have an object and you have it very far away from a lens, first of all, it'll look the wrong way up and it'll look small, but as you move it closer, it'll get bigger until we hit this point here where it flips and you can't really see anything. And then if you move it even closer, the object seems to be now the right way up in our eye and it's also magnified. So I hope that helps. If it did, then please leave a like. And if you have any questions, put them in a comment down below and I'll see if I can answer them. See you next time.